x and y are integers x plus y cube equal to 1 y plus x cube equal to 7 x and y are 1 if we subtract these two terms this minus this will be y minus x plus x cubed minus y cubed equal to 7 minus 1 which equal to 6 now we apply this identity for this i write y minus x minus y cubed minus x cubed equal to 6 so here it will be y minus x minus this part if we apply this will be y minus x times y squared plus xy plus x squared equal to 6 if we multiply by negative 1 or we can at first factor from this we can say y minus x here 1 minus this part y squared plus xy plus x squared equal to 6 we can multiply by negative 1 times negative 1 here if we apply negative 1 negate both of them so that doesn't have an effect because negative 1 times negative 1 will be 1 so here it will be y squared plus xy plus x squared minus 1 equal to 6 x and y are integers so if we want to check the cases are 1 6 negative 1 negative 6 2 3 negative 2 negative 3 3 2 negative 3 negative 2 6 1 negative 6 negative 1 okay let me tell you how you can solve x minus y here it will be 1 x minus y will be 1 so we can conclude x equal to y plus 1 if you take negative 1 and replace here so we say y squared plus instead of x we replace with y plus 1 y plus 1 times y plus x y plus 1 squared minus 1 equal to 6 and if we check y squared y squared y squared 3y squared plus y for y plus 1 squared you should use this y squared plus 2y plus 1 so it will be y squared y squared y squared 3y squared y plus 2y 3y plus 1 minus 1 0 equal to 6 so if we divide by 3 and factor from y it will be 2 so the only case for this is if we place if y is positive y is 1 if y is negative negative 2 and x is y plus 1 so here x is 2 and here x is negative 1 so if you check these two answers 2 1 and negative 1 negative 2 none of them work here so we've reached these two answers for x and y and none of them work so here we can say for second case x minus y one, negative 1 take negative y to right side and negative 1 to left side x plus 1 and if we replace here y squared is x plus 1 squared plus x times x plus 1 plus x squared minus 1 equal to negative 6 we if you simplify 3x squared plus 3x equal to negative 6 so x is if you divide by 3 negative 2x times x plus 1 will be negative 2 so we can see it's not possible for this case product of two consecutive terms cannot be negative 2 now next case it is x minus y equal to 2 so x equal to y plus 2 if we take negative y to right side if we replace it here 
y squared plus x is y plus 2 times y plus y plus 2 squared minus 1 equal to 3. If we simplify, it will be 3y squared, y squared, y squared, y squared, 2y, 4y will be 6y. And here we have 4 minus 1, 3, 3, 3, 0. If we divide by 3, it will be y squared plus 2y equal to 0. So we can say y times y plus 2 equal to 0. So y is 0 or negative 2. x is y plus 2. It will be 2, 0. And we will see, for example, here, x is 0, y negative 2 doesn't work. Also, x2, y0 doesn't work. So here again, we don't have any answer. Here, x minus 1, negative 2. So if you take negative y here, y equal to x plus 2 if you replace here. So we have this. If you replace y with x plus 2 here, and it's negative 3. If we simplify, it will be this. And if we divide by 3, it will be x squared plus 2x plus 2 equal to 0. And it is x plus 1 squared plus 1 equal to 0. It is impossible because it is non-negative plus 1 is positive. In this case, x minus y 3. So if we take y negative y here, x equal to y plus 3. If we replace x with y plus 3 here, so y squared plus instead of x y plus 3 times y plus y plus 3 squared minus 1 equal to 2. So we have this. If we divide by 3y squared plus 3y plus 2 equal to 0. Now we can factorize y plus 1, y plus 2 equal to 0. So y is negative 1, negative 2. x here we said y plus 3. So here it will be 2. Plus 3 here it will be 1. The first case x2, y negative 1. x2, y negative 1. Here it works. And here negative 1, 2 works. So x2, negative 1, 1 answer. And if x1 y negative 2 x1 y negative 2 doesn't work so if we check this one x minus y is this so take negative y right side negative 3 left side x plus 3 if we replace here x plus 3 squared replace y with x plus 3 here so plus x times x plus 3 plus x squared minus 1 equal to negative 2 if we simplify, we have this, but it is multiple of 3. Multiple of 3, but it is 10, not multiple of 3. So left side, the remainder when divided by 3 is 1, but right side, 0 contradiction. So here we don't have again answer. So here, x minus y is 6. So if you take negative y to right side, x equal to y plus 6. So y, if you replace x with y plus 6 here, we have this, and it will be 3y squared plus 18y plus 34 equal to 0. The remainder of left-hand side when divided by 3 is 1, but right-hand side 0, contradiction. And for last case to check, so here if we replace y with x plus 6 here, and simplify, we have x squared plus 6x plus 12 which is x plus 3 squared, we have this, plus 9 plus 3, equal to 0, but it is impossible, left hand side is positive. So the only answer is when x equal to 2, y equal to negative 1 for integers, the case that x and y are integers. As I said before, there are around 40, 50 important ideas in each topic, combinatorics, number theory, algebra, and geometry. If you want to learn them, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description. Also, you can use my other playlist to improve your problem solving. And please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell and like the video. Thanks.